to limit the spread of the, of the tawny craze in, first you need to be uh, vigilant as to where you're buying plants and all if you're doing landscaping. Check those plants, lift them up, see if there might be ants around them. You know, a, as good as uh, nurseries and all can get, sometimes they'll have an infestation come in. So it's up to you to, to be careful and let them understand too that they might have a problem and they can start to take care of it. But uh, uh, you, you need to monitor if you have any mulch brought in, check your mulch to see if there's any ant activity in there. If there is, you know, I'm sorry, you might need to go to another place to get your mulch. You can park a car or a trailer in, in a tawny crazy ant area and the queens and all can, can get up in there. You move the trailer, you move the queen, you're moving the population. So the idea is you just have to be very vigilant about what's going on. Check things, especially if you're in a tawny crazy ant area, check to make sure that, uh, you know, the pots and all, even chairs, anything you sit outdoors uh, that might be on the ground, check those to make sure that you don't have, have a little hitchhiker with you when you go home. Anyone that's in a county and does county work, I think it's very important for them to be educated on monitoring for the tawny crazy. And one of the issues early on we've had with that in my area up in the Texas is that uh, uh, some of the garbage trucks would move garbage and so a lot of our garbage areas are just loaded with tawny crazy ants because you know they don't understand that they move them so you're moving a population so yes I think it's very important for people that deal in these areas uh, to be educated about understanding what the potentiality is of, of moving an ant due to uh, moving containers moving equipment doing things like that.